Hello Lilas, welcome back to my channel guys. If you're new to this channel, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and click the bell to be a part of the notification squad. Guys, today I am sharing with you my next prototype baby. Um, I am super excited to have this opportunity. Um, I was asked to do a prototype for uh, the talented Melody Hess. Um, and so this is a cuddle baby with hands and feet. Um, the cuddle head name is Chandler and the um, hands and feet are just one fourth limbs which she does sell separately and I'm going to talk about that in a short minute here. Um, so you can buy the head separate or you can buy the head and buy um, the hands and feet. Um, so I, you know, I, lo I love cuddles with hands and feet now. I've become addicted to it. Um, I also like them with just the head because, again, you know, when you just have the head, the dressing possibilities are mad crazy for, like, bright colors and stuff that I normally wouldn't put my, my dolls on. I feel a lot more confident with the cuddle babies being able to do that. Um, so for those that may be new, let me explain first what a cuddle baby is. So he is silicone, his head, his hands, and his feet are silicone. The rest of his body is a well-weighted cloth body, which is filled with polyfill and glass beads to allow him to feel like a real baby and weighted and posed and have a lot of flexibility. Um, so that's a cuddle baby. Um, it's a difference from a partial. A partial would be full arms, and full legs and head and then cloth body. But I feel like the cuddle babies and partials are kind of close. Um, but cuddle babies are less expensive in most cases than a um, actual partial. So I think cuddle babies are great for two things. Um, well, three, but two other things other than just the enjoyment itself and, you know, loving how great they feel when you hold them and the posing. I love it. But the um, other thing is if you are curious about silicone, just wanting to know how you would feel about it, you know, feeling the texture of it, um, being able to do the the pacifier, you know, full pacifier. I know some vinyls allow you to be able to use like a modified nipple and all that stuff, but ha being able to just stick a pacifier in the mouth and not have to modify it is amazing in itself. Um, but let's get into the sculpt itself. Um, so this baby has a more, I see it as a, like a very newborn -y expression. Um, so that is probably going to be my angle with him. Not sure until I get to painting him, but I just really, I don't know. I'm just picturing just baby, baby, like just came home from the hospital, baby. Um, the one thing I want to say, and you guys know, I am always a sucker for hands and feet. I'm always a sucker for detail sculpting. Melody Hess sculpting is very beautiful and very detailed. Um, so I'm gonna start with his head. I'm gonna take his hat off. Now, also this baby is the head is very shiny, the other part isn't as shiny, but that's the nature of silicone before it's painted. Um, and I don't, some people, you know, artists will powder them down so that they can look matted for the video and all that. I'm not doing that because I'm not going to do anything outside of my normal process just to appease the crowd for a video. Um, just being honest. Um, and I did let the sculptor know I probably am not going to have the best photos of the blank or video or anything because 
um i'm not powdering it down and i know some of them already come powdered but hey um i'm not gonna add to that like i don't know what powder they use versus my powder i just don't want to add anything extra to the mix so i usually don't even really dress them but i'm okay with that part but anyway so let's talk about his head he has a very newborn shaped head he has that little what do they call it do they call it a fontanelle or something like that i don't know but he has that here and it's like a you know the little newborn egg shaped head i guess not totally but um his ears are so detailed like um they even have like like a deep ear canal inside like um deeper like they look like they actually have a true uh ear canal in there um so it's really nice i like nice ears i'm funny this stuff might not be important to you guys um so and the nose is very defined i love i just love the sculpting and how sharp and detailed it is the sculpt in itself um a lot of times you hear people going on and on about when they get a baby in a box open and they're like oh my god this baby this look how the ankles are painted or look how this is painted and it's so detailed and a lot of times or look at all the re wrinkles and they credit the artist instead of the sculptor um but actually sometimes it's the actual sculpting that's the the detail that they're referring to so it's nice when you see them blank because you can appreciate the detail more without even painting the fist this fist is beautiful 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 um very detailed um very realistic the nail beds are beautiful on this one very 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 realistic for like newborn hands oh my gosh i like it um and trust me i'm not just saying it because it's a prototype that's the one thing i don't do if i get a baby if i agree to do a baby and i get the baby and i absolutely did not like it i would privately talk to the sculptor and say I don't think I'll do well with it <laughs> so I'm not just saying it just because it's it's a prototype um you guys know I, well people that follow me a long time know I, I I don't I don't do that um these hands this open hand beautiful um I do have pictures on my um page my Facebook page Miss Serenity Smith um, so if you want to see it up close and personal, you can, you can see that too, even, but the hands are beautiful. Um, and the feet, the feet have a very newborn shape, which I love. I love, love, love the newborn shape feet and the ankle bone. I always say this cause my, I have a customer that's like obsessed with ankle bones, the ankle bones are very defined so beautiful feet beautiful toes this this foot the big toe is separate um also i like to say that the silicone feels really soft but sturdy because with a um, cloth body baby any cloth body baby you want the silicone to have some type of firmness you don't want it to be too too soft so that, you know it's it can Hold up to the body and all the movement and not be slipping out um she does have a naturally open mouth um it's up to you if you want to deepen it um as an artist but um mine is already deep enough for a full total full pacifier um this is pacifier and of course I this is a brand new pacifier and I didn't put anything on it because of course he's not painted. But he does 
take a pacifier and he does look really cute with a pacifier also i want to say that he is on a temporary body reggie Ann's body that i already had here his permanent body is on the way um so so he's on a little chocolate reggie Ann's body show you what it looks like he is like I said he's he's a newborn perfect newborn size um, this is a first size outfit so very newborn outfit take him out of all of this So you guys can have an idea. Um, the kit, the head is already available in the hands and feet on her website. So it's MelanieHessDolls.com. MelanieHessDolls.com. And that's Melandy with a D. And I will put the link in my description box so that you guys can find her website in case you guys don't understand what I'm saying um, and like I said even if you, this if this face is not for you she has other cuddle heads as well um, that may appeal to you even more or this one um, but if not anything I definitely would go check out these lambs they're really cute and they're a very neutral color so um that's a good thing for me and she's actually poor she actually pour her is pouring her own she um i believe uh Silicone Studio is doing the molding and then she's doing the pouring. So she's pouring her own her own little ones. And that is so cool. So again, also this part, there's part of this this the limbs I will be uh possibly clipping down but I can't do that now because those are what are used to stand them up when painting so that's another thing about the limbs the that I like more than the actual uh more than the trying to paint a partial is that these limbs you can actually stand up on your paint table and it's it's so much easier to manage than partial baby so if you're new and you're just starting out painting I would try these first and I think you'll enjoy it um so that is how the body looks now I'm I don't know I'm gonna see which one I like more um I do have my bodies did a little different um for me so they have a little gathering in the chest and then and he has a tushy um but I really actually liked him on this body so I don't know when the other body come I will compare um the other body have joints in here but I kind of you know like this one it's a different style Yep, you full of lint. I know, this is look crazy to you. Straighten it on his diaper. It's like all over the place. I understuffed him so I can pose him. But he has a little tush. That's what I was trying to show you guys. So, yeah. Get back over here. <laughs> but yeah, hopefully... Um, 
and he's on a Reggie Ann's body. I, I know other people use other bodies. I'm still hooked on Reggie Ann bodies. So, but the good thing is, if you don't like the body, you can always change it. That's the, that's the beauty of the cuddles too. Um, versus full body, if you don't like the limbs, you don't like the way it's weighted, you don't like the body style, there's nothing you can do about it. But with the, the cuddles, you can play around with bodies until you find one that you actually like. So, oh, and he does have a pretty full size, decent bottom lip. I like that too. So give me more to paint with. And then he has that little milk bump there on the top lip. Top lip is more thin, but um, still have that little milk bump there. And um, I just, I like the bottom lip. It's fuller, which is nice. And he has fat little cheeks and a little dimple in the chin. He has um, like a little structure for his raised eyebrow bone, which I love because it kind of helps you know where to put your eyebrows. Um, inside the hands, the palms on the hands are very detailed, very realistically with the detail inside. Let's see. Let's see if you can see inside there and see those hands. So. Yeah, and his feet are not like super tiny, so he will be able to fit like, you know, at least a size zero um, shoe or newborn shoe, not have to not fill out the sleepers and all that stuff. So I'm, I'm really excited. I'm seeing, like I said, I'm seeing super newborn, so that's the style I'm gonna probably go with. I don't know what skin tone until I get to painting him and see what he, where he looks good at. I'm just going to paint him until he start crying. Once he start crying, I know I got it. So anyway, this is a very long video. I didn't mean to make it this long. Um, but yeah, so he is Chandler by Melanie Hess. And again, that's MelanieHessDolls.com. You can go ahead and order you one blank if you like. Um, if you're interested in this one, stay tuned. Let's see what happens in the end. But yeah, you can you can actually order for your your favorite artist or yourself um, because they are already available. Ah, oh, so cute! <laughs> All right, thanks, guys.